the story that I will explain to you means that uh, everything is again possible, even if you would like to design a product, to create a brand, and also uh, to go to the market and make success uh, very quickly. Uh, so I'm not a teacher, so I, it's not the advice, it's just a, a story, but uh, I can give it to you, I hope, so many keys of the success or so many things very important to meet success or avoid to no meet success. So uh, I would like to explain my presentation. It will be in three parts. So the past, uh, where we come from, uh, uh, etc. The key that we need to meet success and also the, the next time, because when you need success, we need to keep the success for the future. So before, uh, I come from Belgium. And so I don't come from Switzerland. And so there are no uh, history of the watch business in Belgium. Uh, Belgium is very well, well known for beer, for chocolate, etc. but certainly not for the watch business. So it's the first handicap. Uh, the second handicap, I come from a very, very small city, only uh, 12,000 people, citizen, and there are more code than the citizen in the city. So you can, it's not Hong Kong, it's a very uh, small city in the forest on the south of Belgium. And so it's uh, the second handicap because we are not on the big, uh, big city with a lot of uh, connection. And Boston City, it's not uh, the capital of the fashion. So it's not Paris, it's not Milano, it's not Hong Kong. So mean that, okay, why from Boston create a new uh, brand of watches? My father not come from the watch business too, so I have no education from watch. So I'm so sorry again. And I study politics uh, and public affairs in the University uh, Catholic in, uh, in Louvain-la-Neuve in Belgium. So uh, no knowledge about also watch business. And I have no uh, uh, knowledge also about the network of distribution because uh, I don't work about that before my, my uh, work uh, with Ice Watch. So, Mean that you can have a lot of handicap, even if I had a dream, it was to create a brand and also uh, to create the value. And I forget that I have no cash also when I start. So sorry. <laughs> no, my situation is a little bit better. Huh? Uh, so create a brand was the dream. And uh, it was uh, for me, uh, certainly when internet arrived on the market after uh, 2000, Everything is very possible to find uh, everywhere in the world very, very quickly. Because my uh, 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 previous uh, uh, works, I work in the uh, promotional gift. So uh, uh, in April in Hong Kong and in October in Hong Kong, there are a lot of uh, fair, uh, it's a gift and premium fair. And so when I arrived in 2000, and after 2000 to visit the customer with a new product that I discovered in Hong Kong, the customer said to me, oh, it's great. What is the price? I don't know. Uh, for example, two, uh, two euro or two US. And immediately, the day after or the same day, the customer go to the web, go to alibaba.com, and find the product and find the factory immediately. So it means that the, my business in this part of my life decreased very quickly because every, every people can find all of the uh, factories for all of the product. So I think that, oh my God, a product without brand, a product without uh, design, have no value for the future. So me that decided, I say, okay, I would like to, to move, but I think a lot about that, because it's what, not very easy to say, okay, I go to the market avec, with a new, uh, a new brand and a new product, and I, would, I try to uh, uh, understand what's happened for the other brand, because for me, Okay, design, every people can design something. Uh, there are a lot of designers in the world. Producing, it's very easy if you have uh, so many connections, especially in Asia. It's very easy to, to produce a, a product with the plastic, etc. You can create the mold and after that you produce. The problem is to sell the product after. And design without business, for me, it's not, uh, it's not enough. So it means that uh, design must go, I hope, uh, to the business and to meet success as a Samsung, for example, uh, with the uh, previous presentation. And uh, I took two, uh, two images. Uh, everybody of my age uh, never forget the first time when we put music in a small box. It was the Walkman, uh, I think it was 20 years ago. And uh, Sony had a lot of engineers, but never Sony imagined the iPod. 
So mean that sometimes uh, its uh, design is very, very important to go also to the next step. Another thing is uh, Coca-Cola and uh, Red Bull. Uh, the market is of the, 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 the water and the, all of the drinks is, was completely full. And so the question is, why create a new drink? And how to meet success with a new drink? Because a drink is water, you put uh, so many uh, 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 taste inside and maybe more uh, sugar or less sugar. But why Red Bull meets success? Because Red Bull, it's an energetic uh, drink, but Coca-Cola was also an energetic drink. And so, but he decided at first to have a smaller one, higher one, smaller capacity, and with a higher price. And so, after that, the image came uh, after and, and the success too. So, I think that if Apple arrived to meet success, if Red Bull can meet success, why in the market, as the watch market, it's not possible for me to meet success too? And so the major thing, uh, I believe it, it's to uh, create the difference. So mean that it's, at this time, it's very difficult to create a new product, a completely new product. Uh, 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 Samsung explained that we have a Frigidaire, okay, we can improve the Frigidaire, but to create a new Frigidaire, a, a, new, a new, completely new product is very complicated. So now, to make the difference, you can take the, pro the existing product and you must give a difference by the existing product. And so, it's just a little bit the same than the painting. The painting, you can take a frame, white, you have the color, and you can give your vision of the world by the color. And so means that in the, in the painting, you have uh, Surrealism, Magritte, it's a very famous uh, Belgium uh, painter, Picasso, Monet, and so from the reality, you can have another, another view, another point of view of the reality. And so that's why the dif create the difference is very, very important. So, okay, uh, I, I had the reflection in my mind, but uh, uh, the, the problem is to go to the next step. And so to go to the next step, for me, the first major point was, and before the design, is to have the feeling about the social value, what the people would like to have. And, and uh, a very high level social value at this time is change. So in the past, uh, a lot of people keep the same phone during uh, 10 or 20 years at home. Uh, in the past, my father and my mother had the same doctor during all of the life, the same insurance company. And now you can observe that a lot of people like to change so many things, mobile phone, insurance company, uh, a lot of things around the, around the people. And so I say that we need to create the watches following the social value of change. And with Ice Watch, the people can change the, the watches for three reasons. First, the price. We need an affordable price. So we start at uh, around uh, 600 uh, Hong Kong dollar. A very large color. So mean that the people can change the watches following uh, the clothes, the humor, uh, the, the mood, etc. And also, we invite the people to change the watches when the people change their activities during the day. If you go to work, maybe you need a very high value watches for, the, for your status. But after that, if you would like to go to the beach or maybe to, to do the sport, maybe you decided to change your clothes, certainly. And at and, uh, the same time, why not change the, the watches? So social value is very important. And for us, means that it's the possibilities for the people also to buy more than one. And when the people decided to buy more than one, means that he start to collect it. And because he start to collect it, we decided to design a new boxes, and the new boxes that I take with me, uh, it's an invitation of the collection. And so mean that when you buy the first one, you can buy the second one, and you can put one by one. And we arrive on the market, and especially in the shop at the beginning, there are a lot of brands of watches. So you can go uh, in, the, in the mall in Hong Kong, there are a lot of brands. So why the shop will accept your brand? So it's a very big battle to put your product in the, in the vitrine, in the shop. And so with us, it was just the same system than the building in New York or Hong Kong. We go on this way and not on this way. So why? Because we put five and five. So with a 16 centimeter, we can put 10 watches in the vitrine in the shop at the beginning. So it was 
a very strong identity because immediately the people can recognize the brand through the box at first. Second point, uh, uh, it's a very uh, great thing to start uh, the collection. Third point, you can reuse the watches because you can put the coin to spare money and to buy a second one after that. So you can continue <laughs> your collection. And, uh, and in the same time, and I proved about that, that we go a little bit more uh, in deep with the concept of the boxes because we create a very close relation and we, at this time, we are again the alone to do like this. For all of the watches and all of the packaging, it's a very close relation by the transparency, by the touch, by the color. So mean that if when you have a, a, a watches in a, like this one in plastic a strap in a purple, you have the boxes in purple. But when you have a, another watches in a, a jeans leather, you have a touch uh, like a jeans, and so it's the same look, the same touch. So we have a very close relation between the product and each collection that we have. And so we are the alone also to have this kind of relation between the product and the, and the packaging. And so we can also uh, reusable uh, the, the, the packaging. So we follow the social value. We have a very uh, strong identity uh, through the, the boxes. And so we decided uh, to start. And so we decided to find a name for the, for the product. So because we can have a good design, we can follow the social value. We say that, OK, we need to find a name. And so we decided to use ICE, because for us, ICE, it's a symbol of purity and the transparency. And it's also uh, a lot of people in the past use a sun for the brand. And so no, because the ICE disappeared in the pole, uh, north and south, means that for us, it was very important to use uh, ICE. And uh, uh, so we have the brand. And after that, we would like to find the customer. And so we decided that uh, Ice Watch is for a very large public. So it means that it's not only for the teenager, because especially in Europe, every people can buy an uh, Ice Watch. So it can be a grandmother, it can be a, a, a young people, it can be a, a man, a woman, etc. So uh, it's a very uh, large public people potential. So it's great. We have the. Uh, the name of the, the brand, uh, we have the, the, the following the social value, but uh, it was not enough to start uh, the business. That's why we decided also to create a, a logo to have a complete, uh, very strong uh, identity uh, with the boxes. Immediately when we start, we, we decided to go to the market with a very uh, color attack. And so if you go to the shop also, especially in the watch business, very often it's black, white, silver, gold, but never before with a very a strong uh, attack like this one. So it was very strange now when you arrive from the shop that you can uh, recognize also the brand very easily uh, through, uh, through the color. Another thing was very important when we start because 2006 we start slowly to 2009 and we arrive at the Basel Fair. Basel Fair is the major fair of the watch business in Switzerland. And hopefully for us, uh, it was a little bit the crisis on the watch business in 2009, and we had the chance to have a, a booth on this fair. And hopefully for us, because it was three years after the beginning, we were already with so many things around the brand. Uh, very often, when a new product ar ar arrives on the market, we have a very good idea. Maybe you have a name, you can have everything. And you decided to go to the fair Participate at the fair is very, very important for a product. But we are not ready with the POS material. And so immediately for us, when you arrive on the market from the Basel Fair, the POS material was ready to put on the shop. So it was very important also to discover the new distributor immediately uh, because the distributor said, OK, how I can sell it? So no, no problem. I have the, the, all of the material to sell it. Immediately also, we uh, uh, build a very attractive website. And so the website, now, when we, you start without money, is the best window for your product because every people everywhere can discover your product and your brand through the website. And unfortunately, also, when a new product sometimes arrives on the market, the website is not so good, the POS is not so good. So this one is very, very important too. Another thing very important is uh, participate at the fair, 
And so we participated a lot of the fair. So I remember that one time in September, we, I think it's two or three years ago, we participated at the 17th fair in the same time. So uh, uh, it was uh, very important to be present, to, to show it your product. Why? Because immediately, worldwide, you can be present in different territories and immediately you can establish your brand. Because if it's not the case, you can be sure that you will be copied and other people uh, uh, take inspiration from your design and from your product. And so uh, after that, you will be uh, very uh, frustrated. So it was very important for us to, to exhibit in different uh, fairs in the world uh, to, uh, to show the product and to uh, uh, try to find the, the distributor uh, everywhere. Another thing very, very important is uh, the relation with the media. And so uh, maybe journalist is there today, but uh, I will explain that to organize a, a press conference, the idea was to send the invitation in the box uh, without the watches. So we put out the watches, we put the uh, invitation inside, but we have the form without the watches inside. And the journalist receive, when we organize the press conference, the bags with the boxes inside. And he believed that he will receive a watches when he will come to the, to the press conference. It was the case. So immediately we, we had a very uh, good contact with the, with the media and immediately thousand and thousand and thousand uh, publication for free uh, will be, uh, la, as the editorial will be on different kind of uh, magazine everywhere in the world. So and we start this kind of uh, press conference around 2009, uh, three, three, four, four years ago. And so after that, you need to keep uh, certainly the relation through the PR uh, with, the, with the press. Another thing, sure, that uh, when you start with a new product, we, you need to improve a, a lot the quality of your product. And for example, uh, in our side, I don't have the screen about that, but uh, we are the first uh, brand of the watch business to have a repair tracker system. So it means that if you go to the shop to asking to repair your watches, even if the watches is only 600 uh, Hong Kong dollars, so around uh, 60 euro, uh, we have the obligation to repair the watches for so many reasons. Because the watches, the people remember that he received the watches from uh, his uh, grandmother or for a special occasion. So it's not like uh, all the mobile phone that you would like to buy a new one and not to repair the old one. But for the watches, we, we have the obligation to repair it. And so with the repair tracker means that the people receive a login and a password and you can track by, in, by themselves on the web uh, where is the watches and when the watches will be repaired and when the watches arrive back to the shop to take it back, you receive a SMS or email. So it means that uh, when we talk about the quality of the product, we need also to have the quality about the services behind and to be on the first position on the market to, to, to be better than the, than the other one. Uh, and the last point, it was the organization, because when you start with nothing, uh, with zero to 10 million watches in uh, six years, means that you have a very uh, special organization. And the special organization, I'm so sorry about that, it's very difficult to read, but uh, uh, means that we are working with uh, different factories in, uh, in Shenzhen, so we close of Hong Kong, about uh, all of the parts of the watches, and uh, like the ends, the band, the case, the dial, etc. And after that, we work with the five assembling factories, also in Shenzhen. We organize the two uh, Hong Kong offices, one the warehousing and another one for the sales. Uh, and uh, this uh, Hong Kong office collects all of the order from the distributor. And we have in Belgium uh, two offices also, but uh, especially for the design, especially for the web, for the international networking, for the communication, the strategy. And after that, we organize the business with uh, around the 60 partners in the world. Each partner has one or two or three countries. That means that we distribute the product is one, more than 110 countries in the world. And we are present in more than uh, 12,000 point of sales in the world at this time. So and when I say point of sales, it can be flagship and high store. So it's uh, the best for us with uh, the monobrand store. We have uh, around uh, 80 monobrand stores, very quickly, uh, for, from the three uh, last year. 
And after that, we can be on the multi-brand uh, store, uh, jewelry, uh, duty-free, in-flight, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we, we, we are on the very large presence in the world. Just uh, small numbers. So uh, you can see the progress. And uh, you can see that uh, during uh, 2007 to 2009, it's very slow. And after that, we go up uh, very, very quickly. Uh, uh, another one, another result is very important for us. We are the first brand in the world uh, on the number of the fan of Facebook. And so every time we post and every day in different languages, a lot of uh, uh, news about the brand. Uh, and certainly this week that we will post a lot of uh, news about the brand of Icewatch during this week of uh, design and a lot of visit that we will have. Uh, so you can see that the first uh, is Tiffany, but it's more jewelry than watches. And so after that, is, uh, if uh, Ice Watch is uh, there, uh, and today it's more than uh, 4 million 950. And I'm sure that after this uh, presentation, I will collect maybe again uh, 100 or 200, I hope, uh, more uh, fun. So you can go to uh, Facebook and click uh, I like, and so you, you can uh, join uh, the, the family of Ice Watch. Another, another result, just to show it to you, uh, it's the result uh, on the uh, watch business in, uh, in Germany. So uh, I come from Europe. So Germany is the major market. And so you can see that from GFK results, so it's not my, uh, my numbers. Huh? So I collect it and I pay for it. So, and if you take these uh, uh, numbers, you can see that uh, uh, on, the, sorry, on the left is the sales value. And on the right is the sales unit. So for the, the watch business, sales unit for us it's a little bit more easy because the price of the watches is on the enterprise. So it means that we are on the first position with 17.3 uh, uh, part of the market in uh, Germany. Uh, and so the second one is Fossil, after that Casio, after that Swatch, after that Esprit, in units. But in value, we arrive in 2012 in the first position uh, over Fossil, over Rolex, over IWC, and over Omega, etc. So the result is very, very high, especially on, the, on this country. I have again three minutes. Thank you for the information. So uh, I would like to discuss just a little bit about the future, because when you have a success like this, everybody will say to you, ah, oh, it's a fashion, but it will be finished uh, maybe next year, or maybe in two years maximum, don't worry, etc., etc. So, but uh, I listened this word from, from the beginning to today. And uh, for us, it's very important also to stay long time on the market. To stay long time on the market means that, sure that the collection is a fashion collection, means that we need to change the collection, we need to renew the collection, we need to design a new model, etc. very often. But mean that the, the, the brand stays stable on the market because we change the collection very, very often. Another way, to keep a very good uh, position on the market is uh, the, the collaboration that we can have. So we have a special collaboration with BMW. We produce a, a collection of BMW. Ah, uh, oh yes, on, the, on, the, on this. It's a, uh, a part of the collection of BMW. And we have also a special collaboration with uh, Pantone. So all of the designers, I think, uh, know uh, uh, who is Pantone in the world. So it's the reference about the color in the world. And so uh, we have a close relation with Pantone and the license of Pantone. And so this week, uh, Friday, I think, we will uh, uh, put on the market the new color of the year with uh, uh, special watches for this. And uh, we have also a special relation with uh, Zwarovski for a, a special stone. It's for the next product for the, the next year. Uh, other thing for the future, it's very, very important also to continue to have the new product and the new product, and especially uh, this one. It was designed uh, uh, by, by uh, three uh, German guys. So you can see that for the first time, there are no link between the case and between the, 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 the strap. And we designed it also, the sunglasses and the glasses, with the same thing, that there are no link and no rupture between the, part, the two parts of the, of the glasses. And so it will be a new product. It's uh, starting in France uh, this year. And so we'll extend the production of this product. And this product is uh, made in France also. 
So I, I, I hope that uh, for you it was uh, clear about the presentation. So it was a very uh, crazy story, uh, uh, very quick uh, uh, on the market. So I would like to say to you, especially for the, new, the young people and the designers, that everything is possible. And we prove that even if we have a lot of handicap to start, uh, it's possible to meet success uh, 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 for you in the future. So the best for us, uh, it will be uh, tomorrow, because uh, as a brand, and for me, it was a dream. And so after that, I don't know what I can expect, because the Queen will visit our Hong Kong office uh, tomorrow. And so I will be very proud about that. What's next? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, thank you uh, for to listen to me. And uh, another good success for you. Thank you, Jean-Pierre. Very inspiring. Uh, we might have five minutes for Q&A. If okay. I have a mic, somebody. We have a lady there. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your speech. Uh, would you say that you, you can give the, uh, the greatest credit of your success to your marketing strategy? No, uh, for me, uh, it's more than the strategic uh, uh, strategy. Uh, first, I explained to you that you need to, s to follow a social value. You need to have a design. You need to have a very strong identity. And uh, after that, the marketing arrives. But the marketing is after that. If you don't have the base about that, so social value, uh, strong identity, and, uh, and a special product, it's not, you can, it's not possible. So uh, marketing is not enough. And so uh, the success of Icewatch also, it's like a piece of puzzle. So mean that uh, hopefully for us, uh, no pieces are missing. But because if one of the pieces are missing, it will be more difficult for you. So on my explanation, if you don't have the, I don't know, if you don't exhibit on different fair, if you don't have the POS material, if you don't have a website, if you don't follow a, a social value, it will be more difficult for you. And maybe your product, even if your product is good, will be uh, like this and not uh, uh, as we have the chance to go, to go up. So it's, it was the condition for us to meet success. I don't know for the other product in, uh, in the world, so, but I think that it was the minimum that, you, that we need to be uh, ready to go to the market. Yes. I know this man. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> um, Jean-Pierre, you told me yesterday that um, you cannot buy a queen. You're going to have a queen in your office. Yes. But uh, during the last uh, few years, you had a lot of... Uh, Superstars, I was wearing your watch, and I don't see that in your presentation. Yes, I, I Maybe all the young people yes, know uh, uh, who uh, they are yes. if you name them. Yes, yes, I forget about that. So, uh, first, I would like to say thank you to my team to prepare the, the presentation, especially Olivier Van Brabant. I don't know if Olivier is on, the, on this room. Uh, and uh, also, in the marketing thing, it, uh, we use also a very large visibility through the star. Uh, and this uh, visibility was uh, possible through the uh, clip. And so uh, to be present on the clip, uh, we, we use uh, Black Eyed Peas, uh, Katy Perry, Jennifer Lopez, etc. It was the best uh, way and the cheaper way to be present on the clip means that the, the star wear it. So the star wear it only one time on the clip, but the people uh, can see on the YouTube, on the discotheque, on the TV, etc., million and million and million uh, uh, times the clip, and so with a big shoot uh, on the watches. So, mean that when you have no money, uh, it's another part of the presentation. But when we have no money, it's possible also to have a very large presentation uh, uh, visibility with different uh, new way. So when I explain with the media the system to invite the journalist. It was a special thing to do uh, with the, uh, the star. It, we have no money to pay the star wearing the watches all of the time. So mean that we decided to use the, the, the presence on the, on the clip. It was a cheaper, and it's cheaper and cheaper than the pay, uh, I don't know, uh, the man of Omega, uh, George Clooney. I don't have the money to pay George Clooney. And, uh, and so it's, it was always the small uh, ID like this, yes. Thank you, Jean-Paul. Well? Yes. 
Okay. Very, very briefly, please. Okay, that'll be a very quick question. Um, the price point for your watches, I mean, it's a very attractive yes. um, level of pricing. And it seems to be a watch that's catered for everyone, for all occasions. I mean, is it a lot of sports watches, they would price it very high to convince customers that uh, there are specific performances that the watches can endure very harsh conditions. I mean, can I wear it and run it in the desert or in the snow at the same time, given that price point? So the, the and, and I would be, and I yes. would be interested no, no. in... No, no, it, it was another point because I have only 20 minutes because if I have more, I can explain so many other things. Uh, uh, how I found money to create the business also, it was another part of the story. Uh, uh, but to answer to you about the price, uh, it's in relation when I compare Coca-Cola and Red Bull. When Red Bull arrives on the market, Red Bull uh, is more ex expensive than Coca-Cola. And so you say there are small quantity inside the Red Bull than Coca-Cola, and you pay more. It's uh, water with, pro with uh, taste and, uh, and uh, caffeine inside, huh? so why pay more? And so when I decided to go to the market, I checked the price of the, my, uh, the future competitor, and the major one was the Swatch. And the Swatch from Switzerland, the first price start at 49 uh, euros, so around uh, 490 Hong Kong. And I decided to be over and not cheaper, because I say if Red Bull meet success like this, and if you are very different than the actual product on the market, even if you are a little bit more expensive, uh, because the packaging is there, because the story is different, etc., uh, uh, it can be possible. So, uh, but the, the price is very important. And because we decided to have a higher price, mean that for us it was possible to give more benefit margin to the distributor, more benefit margin for the, the shop. And uh, uh, the previous speaker from uh, Samsung was there, but if you go to a shop to buy a TV, if you, have, if you know nothing about the TV, and you ask to the, the salespeople, uh, what is the best? And he, he, the, the, the salespeople will say, oh, this model is the best for you. It's not the best for model for you, it's the best model for the vendor, because the vendor will win more money with this. You can be sure. So it's very important to let a part of the benefit, uh, uh, a larger part of benefit, if, uh, certainly when you start the, the market, because all of the distributors and vendors will, be very, will have a very high level motivation. So when you decide it, your price is very important uh, point also to go to the market. Thank you for your question. Thank you very much. Thank you.